Hello, my name's Bev and I'm the author of the book Please Eat, A Mother's Struggle to Free Her Teenage Son from Anorexia, which describes our family's battle with the deadly eating disorder, anorexia nervosa, which my teenage son Ben developed back in 2009 when he was just 15 years old. This post from the 21st of May 2011 shows that um, even with the contract underway, things were still a bit rocky and this was a bit of a down downer, this particular cam session. And it's called a bit of furniture throwing at cams. A few months ago, it was the table. Yesterday, it was the heavy armchair, which Ben picked up and threw across the room at our cam session before punching the wall and walking out. Thankfully, he eventually returned and we were able to resume our session. The trigger? Ben was brimming with nervous energy, the kind that's set to explode at any minute. He desperately wanted to be weighed, but the scale session isn't until next Friday and cams weren't going to give in, all credit to them. Yet again, it was the old familiar story of being sure he's put on loads of weight during the week. If you came back next week and found you hadn't put on loads of weight, how would you feel? asked the psychiatrist. Happy, relaxed and able to continue with eating extra calories and challenge foods, he said. Something we have heard umpteen times over the last year or so. And then it would be pretty much the same story the following week, etc, etc, etc. He was convinced he'd had a binge on Sunday night, a result of greed. The psychiatrist asked for a breakdown of exactly what he'd had. Much of it, if not all of it, was well within the calorie allowance, plus the 100 to 200 we challenge him to, him to go over when he feels that he can. Things like bread and jam, a handful of healthy cereal, a few pieces of dried nuts and fruit, and a couple of hobnob biscuits. So not really what most boys your age would consider a binge said the psychiatrist. Hopefully this was just one of the odd blips we get in the recovery process. You'll find a link below to my blog and you'll also find a link to my website where you can download free PDFs of my blog and also a link to Amazon where you can buy a copy of my book.